Hello YouTube, Goddard Radio Moscow here again with another beer review for you as is usual. For this one we're going to head back over to Canada to the province of Quebec and uh, we're going to revisit Brasserie du Desile and this beer that we're going to try for you today is a hibiscus wit beer so it's called Rosy de Hibiscus and apparently it's a very very nice one. When I bought this at Brewdog they said this is a really really nice beer so hopefully it kind of lives up to the bill and I was really impressed with the last one, the Blanche du Paradis that I did from, uh, from du Desile as well so hopefully this one kind of follows in the same light but as is usual then with my beer reviews we'll go through a very short history of the brewery it is very very short with that one but if you don't want to stick with me for it just fast forward a few minutes and you will go straight to the tasting the brewery website's in the video description for you below along with the link to my other Judy Seal beer reviews which will be added to in the very near future so anyway, Dieu de Ciel was started as a it started as a brew pub in Saint Jerome in Quebec with Jean Francois Gravel at the helm, and apparently he has no formal brewing training and he simply learned to brew beer through his own home brewing experiments. But Jean Francois came up with the name in 1993 to describe his home brew beers, and it translates from French to English literally as God in Heaven. But essentially, it's the same way a sort of French speaker would say, "Oh my God." Uh, but apparently, there's a certain boldness in the name of this brewery because Quebec Quebecois culture was dominated for a long time by one by the Belgian style of brewing and also by the sort of church clergy and things like that so to have something that's perhaps a little blasphemous and for this brewery to kind of uh, brew in the sort of a, a various different styles if you like is quite interesting these guys are interesting because they kind of in the, in the same way Canada is sort of expanding in the, the sort of craft beer market they're experimenting a hell of a lot as they are doing in America and obviously with Canada's proximity to America that's something that kind of rubs off a little bit I guess but the craft beer scene has been expanding in Canada over the past few years and Quebec has been uh, Quebec sorry has been performing very well in this area but since Judas Seal opened its doors in 1998 they brewed a large assortment of beer over 70 types apparently but their first brew pub was in Montreal and uh, they had 15 beers on tap there at any one time and apparently there's also an apartment above the brew pub that visitors can rent and there's a second brew pub opened at the brewery in San Jerome as well so there's two different brew pubs that you can go and have a look at for these guys and hopefully when I go to Canada I'll think I'm moving there in May to join a research group and hopefully when I go over there I can actually go from Vancouver and visit the eastern part of Canada as well I'd really love to do that in the very near future I've, I've always wanted to go back to Canada for many many years and it's finally kind of coming in place so I'm very excited about that but anyway at any at, if you go and have a little look at the brewery website you'll see the different assortment of beers they've got there there's 22 different bottled beers you can get from this brewery so you have a really really good selection from these guys as I say check it out in the brewery website so let's get on to the tasting of this beer this one is a 5.9% hibiscus wheat beer and the description that's on the website there is rosy du hibiscus is a soft spoken wheat beer the rosy color comes from the hibiscus flowers added during the brewing process the aroma and flavor of this tropical flower are very prominent in the beer giving it a slight acidity and a very agreeable fragrance it's the perfect thirst quencher on a hot summer's day and this beer was first brewed in 2006 at the Montreal Brew Pub of Dieu de Ciel. So I'll just bring up the camera and let you have a little look at the artwork of this one here. It's quite interesting, it's got um, a little bit of a, it's, all of the beers that you get from these guys have that sort of kind of French sort of chic artwork on them and you can see it here there's a girl with a bit of hibiscus flowers in her hair the face on this one actually reminds me of uh, the old Jerry Anderson kind of pu uh, puppet shows that reminds me of Marina from Stingray actually I don't know if some of the older guys who watch my reviews will probably know Thunderbirds and Captain Scarlet and stuff like that my dad loved them and showed me them but I really think that looks like Marina just with hibiscus flowers in her hair so I thought that was really cool that's, maybe that's a little bit of inspiration they've got from it but quite a nicely presented bot and as I say they all do have this kind of French chic style and you can see on the uh, the bottle cap here they have the angel which is obviously a reference to do you do seal oh my god or god in heaven sort of thing the heavenly angel so let's get this guy open and we'll get on with the tasting here so as you can see a nice sort of smoky aroma to this or smoky opening to this one I just realised I kind of bent the cap there, but this was a twist open bottle. I should remember that for the next time I have anything from Judy Seal. But I bought these beers from Brewdog, incidentally, so if you're watching from my side of the Atlantic, you'll find these guys in Brewdog pubs kind of occasionally. They do seem to get them in in bursts, but I'm sure a lot of kind of craft... Uh, 
sort of craft kind of craft shop so have these guys in now so keep an eye out for them and they're very very good beers so let me just bring up the camera and you can have a little look at the color of this beer I can smell it just without even paying too much attention to it already but it, it, it smells very very fresh and very beautiful I'll just check that you're seeing this all right as you can see it's a very kind of bright pinkish color which is what you expect from a kind of hibiscus wheat beer they get a lot of the color this kind of nice pinkish it's a deep amber color with a nice red tint you can see there was about a half finger of a frothy white head there but that's going down just to be a very thin foamy layer there's a good bit of carbonation actually going up to the bottom of the head on this one very kind of uh, how would you describe it a lot of very small bubbles just going up there so it should be quite a crisp beer this one actually with all that carbonation but we'll give it a smell and see how we get on here I'll just put the light back down so you get a nice view so this is quite an interesting aroma I mean just the last video I did was actually vote sep from uh, from Brewdog and I really wasn't impressed with that kind of hibiscus beer in honesty but this guy it does have a hell of a lot more wheat character in the aroma so I'm very hopeful for the flavour of this one. It smells a lot fuller than the Brewdog one did. And this was actually why I chose to do this one. I was going to do one of the other Dew de Seal ones, but I put this one in and did it because I was really interested to try it after the other one. But yeah, you've got a really nice kind of sort of perfumey uh, aroma from the, uh, from the hibiscus flowers in this one. There's a nice kind of tart berry fruit in there. It's almost like raspberries actually. But you can pick up the kind of florally gardeny aroma from the hibiscus. And it actually has just a little bit of a kind of... It doesn't quite have the, the sharp thing that you expect from the from kind of wines and stuff like that. The Brewdog one did, which kind of... It was it was just a little bit too sharp, actually. So it's all about getting the balance of the flavour and kind of getting the blend together with these beers, in my opinion. But you can pick up the nice kind of wheat and spicy underline in the, ground of the, in the, in the background of this one. But it's got a nice kind of wheaty, tart berry fruit aroma a good bit of raspberries in there but you're also picking up the nice kind of perfumey and sort of flowery gardeny aroma that you expect from these hibiscus flowers it smells really nice very very kind of unique so if you do get the chance to try this beer just take a little bit of time and just enjoy the aroma it smells absolutely beautiful so let's give it a taste and see how we get on so the rosy du hibiscus from du de seal in montreal in canada in quebec Now that is more like it. Definitely better than what Brewdog produced in this style. It's, it's really, really nice. It's much like the aroma. You're getting a nice kind of tart fruit in this one. It's got a lot of berries, kind of raspberries, a little bit of strawberries as well. The raspberries come out just a little bit sharper actually. It almost does. On the front of the tongue you get just this little bit of kind of whiny character, a little bit of vinous, I guess you would describe it as. But yeah, there's a lot of tart character in this one, but it's not too sharp. It has just a little bit of kind of whiny sharpness towards the front of the tongue. And there's a little bit of the dry character in the mouth here that kind of helps bring that out just around the front. There's a little bit of lemony character to it as well. The kind of tart character comes out fairly sharply actually, but it grows even more throughout the flavour of the beer, but it's not too cloying at all, they've got it just right. But you've got a nice kind of lemony character to it as well, which gives it just a little bit more of a burst of freshness. But there's a ginger, there's a sort of ginger kind of spicy feel to it, very mild, but it is definitely there. Maybe lemons actually, straight lemons isn't the right way to describe the sort of citric flavour that's in this beer. It's more of a lemongrass kind of feel. As it. it reminds me a little bit of the McKellar ones that they brew for the Asian food, if you like. And um, it's, the I think, like dim sum and keen keen and stuff like that. It does have just a tiny little bit of that aroma or flavour in it, sorry. And that it goes with it really well. It kind of, it sort of stops the... Uh, the hibiscus and kind of floral part of the beer with the tart fruits being so sharp it's really really nice but 
but you've got a nice kind of quite smooth and light wheaty background to this one it's got a little bit of grainy character to it as well but yeah what's really nice about this one I mean in the brew dog one you couldn't really pick up any of the wheat at all in this one it just has that nice kind of kind of a uh, smooth and wheaty backbone to it which just adds another dimension to the beer the wheat ideally could be a tiny little bit kind of sweeter and just more to just pick it up a little bit more but it has it definitely has the backbone there and that's what the brew dog one really really lacked actually But the sort of gingery uh, spice that I was mentioning, it's only it's a very mild ginger, it's not too sharp, I should say that. But this sort of slightly ginger spice that's in there, maybe cinnamony spice, it's, it's a sort of blend, it's, it's maybe not too specific to say it's a ginger spice, but it's a really, really nice one, and that comes out just in the aftertaste as well. But o overall with this beer, you're getting a nice kind of fruity, tarty fruit feel at the back of the mouth, and it kind of just goes over, the wheat kind of sits there in the back of the mouth as well and you have just the more sharp fruity flavours sitting on the front of the tongue. In terms of the mouthfeel of this one, it's light to mid bodied, probably more light bodied actually. The carbonation is quite moderate and it has just a little bit of dry character that helps bring out the, it kind of complements the spice flavours a little bit, it helps bring them out and mix them a bit more with the kind of tart fruity character. It's really really nicely done this beer. But yeah, it's got quite a wet mouthfeel to it, this one. It's not watery at all though, I mean, the kind of mouthfeel they've chosen for this one helps you, uh, it helps bring out the nice kind of fruity flavours and at the back it just gets a little bit drier and that really helps bring out the fruity flavours. But it, it has a little bit of a thickness to it which brings out the, the wheat as well, so they've kind of done it exceptionally well with this one in my opinion so I mean overall it's a really really interesting beer and it's one that has the style just right as I said I tried a brew dog one before this vote sep and it just kinda it just wasn't the same standard you expect from brew dog but this one is more along the lines of uh, what you would expect from this style of beer it has that nice kinda wheaty backbone to it and just the nice kind of sharp fruity um, floral flavours to it and it, it's absolutely beautiful I mean give this beer a try if you get the chance very very unique kind of style and uh, you know pretty much anything that Judy Seal do they seem to do it very very well so I'm sure if you decide to try any of these beers and you just pick the one that is your favourite style I'm sure you'll enjoy it but anyways I hope you've enjoyed this beer review I highly recommend you try this beer very really quite unique actually so um, I, re I recommend you give it a go and please let me know in the comment section your own thoughts on this beer if you do happen to have tried it always interesting to hear that there will be more Judas Seal beer reviews to come on my channel I think I've got another two beers uh, in my crate to review from these guys so uh, subscribe to the channel if you want to see that and please as always like subscribe share all the usual YouTube stuff I hope you're still enjoying my beer reviews and I'll catch you soon with another